teaching ethics, not teaching ethics, but teaching ethics or teacher ethics. Defining our terms first, ethics is a system of moral principles or the principles of conduct governing an individual, a group, or a profession. In this case, education. Minnesota Teachers Code of Ethics. Each teacher, upon entering the teaching profession, assumes a number of obligations, one of which is to adhere to a set of principles which define professional conduct. These principles are reflected in the following Code of Ethics, which set forth to the education profession and the public it serves standards of professional conduct and procedures for implementation. A teacher shall provide professional education services in a non-discriminatory manner. All right, you teach all students regardless of race, religion, creed, sexual orientation. A teacher shall make reasonable effort to protect the students from conditions harmful to health and safety. That is emotional and social health and safety as well. We teach the whole child. In accordance, a teacher shall disclose confidential information about individuals only when a compelling professional purpose is served or when required by law. That means no yapping about your students in the teacher's lounge or outside that school. When you talk about a student, always think, if this were my kid, what would I want someone to say about this student in the lounge or in other professional settings? Teachers shall take reasonable disciplinary action in exercising the authority to provide atmosphere conducive to learning. All right. Discipline means teaching discipline, teaching students how to discipline themselves. It does not mean wacky. All right. Management means uh, teaching students how to make good decisions. That is reasonable disciplinary action. Yes, sometimes there must be logical consequences, but the good teacher recognizes that students have natural inclinations and teaches ahead shall not use professional relations with students, parents, and colleagues to private advantage. All right? You don't try to sell stuff or promote stuff. Teachers shall delegate authority for teaching responsibilities only to licensed personnel. Don't assign the parent to something and leave the room. You are responsible for that teaching episode. Shall not deliberately suppress or distort subject matter. We all interpret things, we all have our views of things, but it's your goal to be as uh, uh, unobjective and unbiased as possible. Uh, a teacher shall not knowingly falsify or misrepresent records or facts relating to that teacher's own qualification. All right? Don't say you're licensed for something that you are not. Shall not knowingly make false or malicious statements about students or colleagues. State behaviors. Teachers shall accept a contract for teaching position that requires licensing only if properly or provisionally licensed for that position. Make sure that you have the right teacher license. All right, these are Minnesotas. They have some good stuff, some bad stuff there. They're not my favorite set of teaching code of ethics. Do a Google net search, teaching, teacher, ethics, code. You will find a whole bunch of stuff. But to wrap up in summation, a philosophy is a set of principles based on your values and beliefs that are used to guide one's behavior. All right, philosophy, not necessarily conduct. It's the basis for everything you do as a teacher, whether you can define it or not. It outlines what you believe to be the purpose of education, the role of the student in education, and the role of the teacher. One's philosophy based on what you value. A value is any belief, trait, virtue, or experience that you hold to be of worth or important. So what do you value in a teaching and learning situation? Based on your values, you define a philosophy. Ethics is a code of conduct or acceptable principles of right and wrong that govern the conduct of a profession. So philosophy is individual, values are individual, ethics are an agreed upon code of conduct for a group. This is what a teacher is, a triangulation of your ethics, your philosophies, and uh, uh, teacher ethics, your values and teaching and learning, and your teaching philosophy. So if you teach from your philosophy, you will never be wrong. That means you have to identify 
your values and your philosophy. And yes, we have a code of conduct for the profession, but you need to develop your own code of conduct. Don't be afraid to stand for something. Remember, when you think of education, teachers are education. We can get along without superintendents and principals and curriculum coordinators, but teachers are education. To enhance education, enhance the professional and personal development of teachers.